All right, Viv. Not bad. You're going to have to take it again, but not, not the biggest deal, okay? For a lot of these, you want to use T-charts and come up with the equations. So, um, the first term is 9. The second term is 18. The third term is 27. I notice that I'm adding 9 each time. I think you had that correct. What I need to find, so that's our slope is 9. I need to find our B. And our B is our y-intercept. To find that, I put in a 0 for x. I work backwards, and that's going to be a 0. So B is 0. So this is going to be y equals 9x plus 0. I think you had 9x plus 9. And that's why your answer was 999 instead of 990. Okay, not bad. For number three, you were also very close. Here, it's an arithmetic sequence, which means we're adding to get to one term or the next. So you have two plus, um, I don't know, M, and that gives you question mark. And then, so we added something. We'll call it M. But then we added another M there. So... I don't know. How do I want to do this? All right. So if we took and added another M, that would give us 20. We added the same thing each time because it was an arithmetic sequence. So that's 2 plus 2M two is 20. So then subtract 2 from both sides. You get 2M is 18. So M is 9. That's how you know it's going up by 9 every time. So 2 plus 9 is 11, plus 9 is 20. Got it. So that, um, excuse me, that would be an 11 there, okay? Number 7, this is the hardest one. And once again, it looks like, okay, you were off on this one. So this is the harder version of the last one we did. And, and if you never get this right, that's okay, but I really think that you could. Now it is a geometric sequence, which means we're multiplying to get from one term to the other. So it looks like we're multiplying by a number that's less than one because these numbers are going down and down and down. So I start out with 1866, and I multiply it by R, and that gets me to this one. Now I don't know what that one is, but if I multiply that thing by R... That gets me to that one. Okay, now R times R is R squared. Solving for R, so we're going to divide by 1866. And so you get R squared is 549 divided by 1866. So that's r squared. So now we want to take the square root of that. And the best way to do that is just go up there and highlight it and hit enter. So now I know that r is 0.542413.542413. All right, now to find the answer, I take that number and I multiply it by 1866. And there, that gives me that one. And I multiply that times, watch, I can just go up here and highlight it. And that gives me that second one, 549 times that. 297.8 BAM times that number again. We're just multiplying by our R value, and that's how you get the 161.5. Okay, tough question. Okay, so 
geometric sequence, so we're multiplying, 9 times r times r again, and that gets us to 4. So r squared times 9 is 4. So r squared is 4 ninths. Now, if you take the square root of this, you get r equals the square root of 4 ninths is 2 over 3. So when I multiply 9 times 2 thirds, now here's the thing. I should, sorry, I, I missed an important part. When we take the square root of something, you can have a positive answer or a negative answer. And that's why you come up with two correct answers for this. Because if r was positive 2 thirds, our sequence would be 9 times positive 2 thirds is 6 times positive 2 thirds is 4. But it would still work for negative 2 thirds because 9 times negative 2 thirds would be negative 6. But negative 6 times negative 2 thirds is once again still 4. And since they don't tell you what the other numbers are, there are two answers for this question. So it's a finite geometric series. Um, this one might be easiest just to look for the pattern. But, yeah, that ain't that easy. You're multiplying it by 3 over 2 each time. All right, let's, let's do it this way. First term is 5. Second term is 15. Third term is 45. Fourth term is 135. Let's figure out what our ratio is. It tells you it's geometric. So that means we're multiplying to get from one to the other. So what's 15 divided by 5? Oh, what is multiplying by 3 each time? Times 3, times 3, times 3. So what's, honestly, we'll just do this by hand. 135 times 3. So that's 405. The fifth term is 405. And 405 times 3, well, that is 1,215. So honestly, evaluate the sum. Just add all those up. And it gives you that. The other way you could do it is you could figure out, so let's see, our y-intercept, 0, divide by 3, would be 5 thirds. So this equation is y equals 5 thirds times 3 to the x power. So the long way to do it in your calculator would be to go to this uh, math um, and then see this 0 is summation. I don't know if you know about this yet. You want the sum as x goes from 1 to 6 of, here we go, let's see, um, alpha y equals 1, 5 thirds, times 3, I guess I should do it times, times 3 to the x power. And watch. Amazing. Oh, no. Oh, there it is, 1820. So just to be clear, this means add up all of those things. So really, all you had to do was add them up. All right, now, if you're adding up things, even if there are infinity of them, if they're getting smaller every time you add them up, the answer, the sum, this is on your test. Uh, I shouldn't put N. The sum of every number is the first number divided by 1 minus 
the rate. So for this one, it'd be 1 divided by 1 minus. Now, it looks like to get from one number to the next each time, the, the r that we're multiplying by is a fourth. So let me show you how to put that in your calculator. Again, alpha y equals 1. I've been doing that a lot. That's the fraction. On the top, I have 1. On the bottom, I have 1 minus. And then let's just do it. I could put 0.25 there, but let me show you. Alpha y equals 1. And then I can just put a fourth. 1, excuse me. Fourth. And it's going to give us 4 thirds. How about that? Okay, I hope that helps. Good luck on your second version. I will see you in class tomorrow. Boom!